I'm saying hello today from the Riverside area in Toronto, which is one of those up-and-coming neighborhoods that I'm exploring right now. And I'm popping in with some of the stores here just to get an idea of some of the retail offerings. And I'm here with Alyssa Daw, who is the owner of Little Peeps, right? Yeah. Little what Peeps. kind of store uh, have you created here? Um, the store is built on the premise of quality versus quantity. Um, I think uh, I'm actually an industrial designer and I used oh, to design you? children's products. Really? Um, my last job was designing weapons, which are kids' toys. And mm -hmm. um, when I was over in the factories in Asia, I realized that everything ends up, final product ends up in a landfill somewhere and we have to have some kind of social responsibility as designers. Mm -hmm. So I think we try to purchase things that um, either have a longer life, a use life, um, a longer life mm -hmm. um, as far as usage, mm -hmm. um, and things that are just made with renewable resources, that are better quality. Mm -hmm. um, again, quality versus quantity. Exactly. So let's have a little bit of a look at your retail store. Little Peeps obviously means it's a, it's a store for well, all sorts of things that children might need, right? Mm -hmm. What Absolutely. type of merchandise do you carry here? Uh, we carry a lot of Scandinavian products. We carry a lot of imports from Europe. Mm -hmm. um, we don't carry any thermoset plastics. Uh huh. So uh, we carry a lot of wood products. We have a lot of small independent companies that we support as well. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, all the superhero capes. Yeah, superhero yeah, capes. They're made yeah, they're in, cool. in New England and oh, they nice. come with. Um, with, uh, with yeah. eye guards and bullet bullet guards for your wrist. Very nice. <laughs> very cute. Yeah, very exactly. Cute. Uh, the tutus are uh -huh. made by um, oh, nice. a woman who used to work for the Toronto National Ballet. And you kidding? Retires. Yeah, so she makes... So this is like a ballet tutu designer. Yeah, yeah. So Look at that. Tutus. That's amazing. Um, there's a lot more whimsical items. Mm -hmm. like these are solid wood toys. Nice. That have good play value. I like that because mm -hmm. nowadays when you go into any kind of a you know, like a department store, or even like a Zellers or whatever, everything's plastic, you know? Yes, yeah. And I look at it and I think, God, my God, you know, being a child has changed so much. Yeah. And and you look at children, they have like 30, 50 toys or whatever. And and they also do, um, a lot of toys are sedentary toys. Mm -hmm. So they don't engage children's imagination. Exactly. They don't engage them physically. I mean, you buy them a video game and they sit for four hours. That's true. And it's not productive for the child's imagination or for their health, for that mm -hmm. matter. Absolutely. So, good too. so what do we have on this table here? Uh, well, there's a sort of Origami. a menagerie of things. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's from a company from Paris called the Jacob. Uh -huh. And they do a lot of sort of excellent um, arts and crafts oh, wow. products. And Interesting. And things. These, this is from the MoMA, the Modern Museum of Art. Oh, wow. They do... Um, so there's a definite educational component also. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So high quality. Yeah. And, Not and just in the manufacturing, but also in the content and what the course. what the product stands yeah, for. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, we also have illustrators, so mm -hmm. we hire, uh, we purchase, I should say, from local artists as well. Okay. And they do runs of original artwork. Nice. So we'll do sets of 50 prints. Mm -hmm. um, we offer little workshops, which are great too. So nice. We've got baby sign language and oh, we've got some quilts here. Very nice. So let's have a look here. Mm -hmm. This one. This is yeah. It's called the Princess and the Pea. Mm -hmm. And it comes with a little pea, and it comes with a bird. Uh, it's from. It's a Danish company. Yeah. And it. Um, everyone is sewn. Every mattress is sewn differently. Oh yeah. So no one is the same. And it comes with a book with the illustrations in Dutch, in German, and English, which this is, is really nice. cute. Yeah. That's great. They're really cute. Uh, that's a big pea. Isn't isn't it? <laughs> That's great. I'm not sure if you can. What are these these items here? Uh, this is a great product as well. Uh -huh. These are swaddling blankets. Oh, nice. But they're made out of muslin. Oh, and really? And they're quite lightweight. Okay. So um, they're excellent for the duration of the baby from newborn mm -hmm. all the way up until their infancy. Okay. So again, trying to extend the life of a product. Right. Um, Where would they be made? These? Do you know what? I'm. They're a new product for us, so I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure where they're okay. made. I know that they're completely organic. Yeah, that's great. Um, and I know they're organic muslin, but unfortunately, I don't know where they're made. 
No problem. And we've got a superhero right here. Yeah. Which superhero is that one? That's the red, the blue rocket guy. The blue rocket guy? Uh -huh. Isn't that interesting? And all sorts of stuffed toys Hello. and stuffed animals, obviously. Hello, Safety mat. Oh, these these mice That's live in these matchboxes. They are cute. Yeah. I we love the hippo. Um, a wide selection of clothing. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, and we have like a lot of cute little novelty items. Tiny, like tiny shoes. Little gladiator oh, yeah, sandals. Cute. Little loafers uh -huh. for little boys. So I know. Not sort of everyday mainstream items. Mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. It's hard to find luxury items. Very nice. These are a fabulous product. So uh -huh. let's put these in. These are um, made on a First Nation. Mm -hmm. uh, made by uh, First Nations women who are okay. normally. They have um they've been doing beading forever as most people know. Mm -hmm. But they um are reinventing themselves and the woman who is making these deer hide moccasins mm -hmm. is now employing women who would otherwise be unemployed. Isn't that great? Utilizing the skill set that That's they already have. Wonderful. And they're beautifully made. They are yeah, yeah they're gorgeous. Yeah. So, so this is Cana a Canadian product? This is Canadian mm -hmm. products as well. Okay. We do have a lot of Canadian products. Mm -hmm. We also have this woman who, she does, um, they're little carry-along dolls, but she does, and then they have different patterns on mm -hmm. the back, mm -hmm. but she does them specifically, each pattern only for each boutique. Yeah. So if you get no, no little brown-haired Susie with the deer here, you won't yeah. get her somewhere else. Yeah. So it provides some sort of that's great. sense of something that's unique. As well. Awesome. Now, tell me a little bit. You're in the Riverside neighborhood. How long has your store been open? About a year. Uh, oh, you're a fairly new store. Yeah. Okay, well, great. Well, I love it so much that I bought here. You bought here? Yeah. Oh, but you also surprises. live here? I, I don't yet. We haven't moved. Okay. But I love the neighborhood you so love much. The neighborhood. I live in central downtown mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. and there's something wonderful about the Riverside because yeah. it has a sense of sort of community, even okay. though you're in downtown Toronto. Yeah. People say hello to you on the street, they smile, mm -hmm. um, there's lots of wonderful little cafes, there's no high rises, which yes. is wonderful for the exactly. city. There's always parking, which is It's fabulous. a little village, right? It is. It, it is. is almost like yeah. a village. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. neighborhood. So you've been here for a year. Yes. Uh, have you participated in any of the special events? Because I think sometimes there are yes, sidewalk sales. Yeah. Okay. We've had lots of things. Um, we have quite often events to sort of to benefit the community as mm -hmm. well. We've had Santa Claus, nice. face painting, and um, we've had uh, baby sign language, certain educational classes available for people in the community as well. They're open to anybody, mm -hmm. there's no restrictions whatsoever, but um, it's a very family-based community too, which is nice, Great. but it's not so gentrified that everyone's not accepted. Right. It's, it's still a very feeling. mixed neighborhood, which yeah. is great. Yeah, it is. You know, you get everything from sort of a little bit a poor working class to sort of upscale Absolutely. and everything in between. And everyone is welcome, and mm -hmm. that's a great feeling. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Alyssa, for showing us around your store. Thank you. Okay. Bye.